Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine, back with another weekend project. You know, there must be hundreds, if not thousands, of cool projects using the common, ordinary LED, the light-emitting diode. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm fascinated with these glowing wonders, and you may remember a project I did some time back called the Cosmic Nightlight. Well, today we're going to again combine crafts and electronics, as together we make a glass of LED ice cubes on today's Weekend Project. For this project, I chose to use six blue LEDs that are powered by three volts. Of course, you could use any color that you like. And I found the perfect glass for this at the supermarket. It's basically a plastic tumbler, but it has a nice concave bottom, which will house our switch and our battery holder. And to form the ice cubes, we'll be using a regular old ice cube tray. You can get these in the dollar store for cheap. I had to figure out a way to get the LEDs to sit in the middle of the ice cubes, so I used some copper pipe strap and bent them into shape, and the holes were perfect because I bent the ends of the LEDs 90 degrees, and they sat right in the center of the ice cube. To make the ice cubes, we'll be using some easy cast resin and hardener. Now be sure to use this stuff in good ventilation and always wear gloves. Go ahead and follow the instructions on your resin and you'll want to mix portions in a small glass jar and mix enough to do about six ice cubes, which is what I chose to do. And then it's time to stir and stir a lot. You need to do it for about two minutes to make sure the resin and hardener are completely mixed together. After you're thoroughly mixed, go ahead and pour the resin into each ice cube compartment. Then lay the copper straps in place and insert your six LEDs and just double check them and make sure that they're sitting pretty close to the center of each ice cube compartment. Now the resin typically takes about a day to fully harden and when done you'll pop the ice cubes out just like a regular ice cube. It may take a little bit of nudging and coercion but they will all come out and you'll end up with six LED ice cubes. Some patience is required as each ice cube is put into the glass and you want to kind of set them up so that all of the LED leads are pretty close to touching together or at least the center of the cup. And then uh, taking each one out individually and adding some hot glue and putting them back in place. So you should basically end up with one big clump of ice cubes. So remove the cup and it's time to wire them up. All the positive leads will be soldered together and all the negative leads will be soldered together. Then we'll want to check our wiring using some test leads and a battery just to make sure all the LEDs light up. Then out to the shop where we'll get a drill and drill a hole in the center bottom of our cup. And using some wire, we'll wire our negative and positive leads and run those wires through the hole in the bottom of the cup. So this entire thing will be powered with one 3 volt battery. So we're going to use a standard 3 volt battery holder and a little switch. Two wires to the switch, two wires to the battery holder, and then some hot glue, which will hold the battery holder in place, and a little dab for the switch. Everything should fit pretty well in the concave cutout in the bottom of the cup. This glass of LED ice cubes looks pretty cool, and it's a kind of an interesting conversation piece. It can act as a night light or even just a small display light. Now, you could come up with many different variations of the glass of LED ice cubes. You could put different colored LEDs in, flashing LEDs, or possibly getting some more resin and maybe filling the glass up halfway with resin. That way it's a half a glass of LED ice cubes. Well, that's today's weekend project. Now get to work and we'll see you next time with another weekend project. Music